Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here this morning. I want to thank AWS for giving me time this morning to tell our story of how we believe we can transform how each of us manages our own health and care. So many of you probably don't know who Cerner is, but it's a high likelihood that your doctor, your healthcare provider is using a Cerner system. We're the world's largest publicly traded pure healthcare IT company in the world. Our 26,000 associates help our clients manage more than 27,000 facilities in 35 countries. The problem is our market is not sustainable. Healthcare costs are approaching 20% of the GDP here in the United States. It's outpacing the general economy, and there's few signs that it's actually slowing down. Moreover, our clients are facing extreme pressure from declining reimbursements, aging populations, physician shortages, all in an era where they're being asked not only to guarantee sort of the quality of their outcome, but the costs as well. Now, we believe technology holds the key to being able to create sustainable models for healthcare. And to do that, we believe that um, we need to add a new layer to healthcare. Focus not around the venue of care, but optimized around the unique needs of each individual, the ability to create a lifetime relationship, and then match their unique needs to the resources in their community. Interestingly, healthcare costs don't just affect healthcare. It affects actually all segments of society who manage their constituents. And so we've been intentionally partnering in each of these segments to understand what are their challenges, what are their unique approaches, and how would we bring their data and efforts together in a unified whole around the consumer? So our vision is use a new layer personalized around healthcare. I have a quick video that shows how we believe this comes together at a personal level for each of us that I'd like to share with you now. The Cerner Healthy Intent platform enables you to manage the health of a population, one person at a time. aggregating and normalizing data from a broad set of sources, including EHRs, claims, and personal data, to create a consolidated longitudinal record for each person. Healthy Intent identifies a member of a target population and applies intelligence to assemble a personalized plan for their health and care from a catalog of evidence-based strategies for managing our particular objective. Intelligence suggests how conditions should be managed across the continuum, recognizes gaps in care, and proposes steps to resolve them. Healthy Intent continuously monitors for new information, creating unexpected value, like personalized, just-in-time reminders. Frictionless, Programmable and instinctive to healthcare needs, Healthy Intent supports a care team's ability to take the right action at the right time, every time. Now, while the video focuses very much on the life of an individual and sort of the care protocols, the reality is studies show that 70 to 80% of our health outcomes and the cost is related to social, behavioral, and environmental factors, not the treatment plan. And what this means to us is we must, we must learn to engage the individual in their daily lives, not just help them manage their condition. And we think the secret to that is actually to interact and engage on a daily basis, to understand that Jane's not only a patient, but she's a mother, she's a wife, she's a caregiver, she's a working professional, and she's trying to manage all of this on the go in her busy lifestyle. So how do we bring all that together? We see the system working in three stages. The first is the ability to aggregate information around Jane from all aspects of her life, not just clinical and financial, but consumer devices, environmental, social. Where does she work? What's her access to transportation? Does she have a social support system? How do we create then and apply the best available knowledge to not only understand Jane's unique needs, but how do we measure, match her to the best available resources in her community? The best thing I could give Jane may not be another provider, and it may not be another medication. Maybe access to transportation or healthy food is the number one things we can provide. 
And then the third is to take that and direct and coordinate those actions in an open ecosystem of partners to make sure those activities are occurring and producing the desired outcome. And what this does for us is, how do we create a personalized plan of health for each person? Now, that's a bold and expansive vision and not something we can accomplish um, solely a Cerner, but we need an entire industry rallied around a common vision. And it's one of the reasons we chose AWS. So there, there's many reasons we were attracted to AWS, being a long-time sort of observer, um, but four reasons really come to mind that drove our decision-making. The first was really the breadth of services they offer. It actually sped our ability to deliver our vision, gave us access to new technologies, and I like to say it let us do what we do well, which was no healthcare. The second was to uh, prove an ability to scale to the size of the healthcare industry. At 20% of the GDP, healthcare is enormous, and we needed partners who had proven abilities to manage that size complexity of data. The third was really it gave us a uh, consistent and cost-effective way to reach around the globe to all of our customers, not just in the United States, but anywhere in the world. And then finally, as we think about crossing industry boundaries, AWS actually provided a perfect meeting place for innovators, collaborators across industries to come together to solve healthcare. Uh, Doing this quickly, where are we at today? Um, we have an enormous amount of data. We have data on about 150 million people that represents about 10 petabytes, processing about 110,000 times a day. We have launched global locations in not only Canada and Australia, as well as the US, and are actively moving around the globe. And we're actively integrating with various uh, innovators, not only in our industry, but in consumer devices, life sciences, and research. To give you a feeling of how this has been transformative to us, the pace and sort of effectiveness of our vision is limited only by our ability to create the intelligence that powers it. And so what we did was partner with AWS using their Elastic ecosystem and uh, their ML services via SageMaker, combined with our longitudinal data uh, and healthcare knowledge. And we're able to reduce the time it takes us and the cost to create a new intelligence model by more than 80%. What this ecosystem lets us do and lets our data scientists and partners do is actually query healthcare information in de-identified data sets, transform it to be intelligent ready, create those complex models and algorithms, as well as validate their findings all in a single environment. Like many of you, um, we're early in our journey with Amazon, but we're on the cusp of something extremely exciting. We started with today's business problems, and with the help of our AWS team, we're quickly able to prove out a few use cases. The first is we proved, even at the size of our cloud, we could create a fully redundant copy of our cloud on demand, significantly reducing our upfront capital costs. We've been able to launch Canada and Australia, reducing our time to market dramatically, while matching the cost of that to the size of our clients in those markets. And the last is we've created a robust ecosystem that powers our next generations of solutions. So as we look forward, um, what's in our near-term windshield and horizon, is expanded use of the AWS services, not only to speed our vision, but to actually increase developer agility. We're looking at production workflows, mostly under the guise of how do we get to much more effective continuous delivery safely and securely, and then realization of the partner ecosystem. So to kind of close this out, we, we have a bold vision for how do we put the person at the center of their healthcare with the ability to bring all the resources of their community together from industries, not only healthcare, but industries that you're working in as well. We don't believe access to technology is no longer the barrier. I think we're squarely in the area of implied intelligence. And if you actually interact with consumers directly, I believe you have an active role to play in how we transform healthcare delivery, making sure each of us have the tools we need to manage our health and care. Thank you for your time.